Hi, I'm Jake from Roasty Coffee, and today I'm gonna talk to you about how to buy the perfect gift for somebody that loves coffee. Uh, so I've got just a few ideas for you today. Uh, first, the thing I want to say to you is that you need to know or decide if you're buying for somebody that just enjoys coffee or somebody that's like a true coffee snob. Um, one of the ways you might be able to identify a coffee snob is if it's somebody in your family who, when they come over for the holidays, maybe they pack their own Chemex and their own pour over coffee maker set and they make their own coffee at your house because your drip coffee machine isn't good enough for them, that person is probably a coffee snob. And so while we love them very much, I just wanna say that for that person, you shouldn't be buying them any coffee equipment uh, because they've spent many hours researching their kettle and their beans and all the stuff that they have and their grinder and all that. And so nothing you buy them is gonna be better than what they already have, most likely, right? So just skip that. But what you can buy them that they will appreciate is something like really high quality coffee beans. And by that, I'm not saying to go find anything on the grocery store shelves. Um, it's not that Starbucks is bad or anything like that. But what they'll appreciate is something like Atlas Coffee Club. Um, you can either gift them a coffee subscription to where they will get a world tour of coffee. And so that's a different coffee from a different country every single month. Um, and so they can go and get exotic coffees from around the world from places they've never tried or you can do something like what I have in front of me, which is a world tour box, which is more of just like a gift set where they're gonna get eight sampler size bags of coffees from around the world. It comes with a beautiful packaging, a beautiful postcard that tells them more about the farm where it came from and kind of the backstory on the coffee and how to prepare it. And so people that are coffee snobs, they love that stuff. They love single origin coffee. They generally love trying new coffees from new regions and places that maybe they haven't tried before. And so that's something that's just like a can't miss especially somebody that knows enough about coffee to really appreciate how special that is. On the other hand, if you have somebody that just enjoys coffee, but they're not that into it to where, you know, they would say, oh, that looks nice, but they don't really get into the whole backstory of the coffee. Maybe something like this bean box gift set here. Um, so this one is the 12 mornings of coffee. And so beautiful packaging again, um, it's kind of got 12 doors inside the box. And as you open them up, Obviously it's Christmas themed. Uh, each one has again, kind of a two ounce sampler bag of coffee behind it. And so they're gonna have 12 different coffees to try. It's sort of fun, it looks great. Um, just a really nice thing to open. Beanbox always has really good gift ideas on their site. Um, last year we had like a coffee and chocolate tasting box um, that I believe they still have for this year as well. And so that's another item that everybody just loves. Um, I've given that as a gift before myself. And so a lot of great stuff there. Um, if you're looking for something that's just kind of funny or if you're on a tight budget, maybe something that's, you know, for dad or mom, you know, you want to have a little bit of a dad joke. Maybe these coffee socks here that, you know, when you've got your feet propped up on the bottom, they say, if you can read this, bring me coffee. I could totally see a dad, you know, I would get into that. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, so something like that, that you can grab off of Amazon, that's gonna get a laugh. And if they love coffee, they'll love wearing those things. Uh, the same with this Bob Ross mug. So this is pretty cool. We picked this up on Amazon. Um, somebody that's, you know, into Bob Ross and that whole thing, right? Maybe somebody that's kind of artsy or whatever would love this. And so basically the mug is black, as you can see, and it's got Bob Ross's picture on it. On the back it says, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents, which is one of his famous quotes. And then as you pour hot coffee into the mug, you see that the painting starts to appear. And so the black turns into uh, one of Bob Ross's paintings. And so it's kind of got the little bit of a wow factor to it. It's like, oh, that's, that's really cool. So it's like a fun little surprise um, after you open it up. So that would definitely be a hit as well. Um, and then finally, I wanna talk about this Ninja Coffee Maker here. So this is the Ninja Dual Brew Pro, um, which is their newest one. And so for somebody that is into their coffee, but maybe they have sort of a basic cheap coffee maker at home, uh, this would be a really nice upgrade for them. There's lots of great coffee makers out there, but this one's super versatile. Um, so it has things like, and by the way, I should mention, we did a full video on this. So if you wanna see kind of demonstrations of what I'm talking about, feel free to click the link and check out that video. Uh, but it has a milk frother built in on the side. It's got a scoop built in. Um, the frother's nice if they wanna make like lattes and cappuccinos and things like that. Um, it kind of lets you do some fancier drinks. And then it does single serve. It's compatible with um, the Keurig like K-cup K pods as well. Or you can just do standard drip coffee on it. 
It's got a digital screen on front, so it looks beautiful. It's very slim on the countertop, and it just has a lot of things that you can do with it. Even has a hot water line where you can just use hot water to make tea or oatmeal or something like that. And so just with all the things that it can do, um, I really feel like it's a good fit for a lot of audiences. So if there's somebody that you're buying for that maybe they could use a little upgrade in their equipment, I think that they would really, really like this machine a lot. I know that it looks beautiful. and I've had a Ninja on my counter for a couple of years and I'm just a big fan of the stuff that they make. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, any one of these, you know, you really can't go wrong, but I think kind of knowing your audience a little bit will help you find the perfect gift for that person. If you need more ideas, we've got a link in the description to below where we've got about 75 ideas on our site and a huge list. Certainly you'll find something there that's perfect for the person you're buying for. Feel free to check that out. Thanks for watching.